This lesson looks at some of the problems that can arise in the production of bedding plants. We will be looking at violas or pansies as the example crop. After completing this lesson, you will be able to describe viola cultural practices, recognize what happens when improper cultural practices are used, and understand how to correct improper procedures. We will look at how the way plants are handled affects their appearance, quality, and value. The production of any quality crop requires you to know and meet the, the cultural requirements of the crop. Violas are more tolerant of cold than of heat and do best in cool temperatures. They are produced for some spring and fall crops in areas with hot summers and very cold winters, and for winter crops in areas with hot summers and mild winters. In areas with mild summers and winters, they can be used year-round. Violas for the case studies were grown from seed sown into 288 size plug trays, meaning there were 288 cells per tray. Three case studies were done. In the first study, several seeds were grown per cell, and the cell trays were then placed in a mist house where they were misted at 10 to 15 minute intervals and held at a constant 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Then when big enough to handle, the plugs, each containing several seedlings, were transplanted into larger cell packs, 24 cells per tray, and moved to a regular greenhouse section at 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit with night temperatures about 4 degrees cooler. The second study had a single seed sown per cell and were started in a regular greenhouse at a constant 65 degrees but they were allowed to dry out. In the third study, the seeds were also sown one per cell and started in the regular greenhouse at 65 degrees but these were kept moist. These seedlings were transplanted into three inch pots from big enough to handle with one plant per pot. Seedlings from the first study exhibited thin, weak, elongated, or stretched growth as a result of too many seedlings per cell, too much water, and too high a temperatures. The plants continued to exhibit this unacceptable growth well after transplanting. Some of the plants were pruned or trimmed to half their original size to try to improve their quality. Here you can see the pruned and non-pruned plants. In a short time, the pruned plants had returned to their overgrown and low-quality state because there were still too many plants per container. The second study was terminated because dry conditions resulted in poor growth and germination and there was not enough plants to study. The case 3 plants germinated well. They were fertilized regularly with 20-10-20 NPK fertilizer at 150 parts per million nitrogen. When large enough, they were transplanted in 3-inch pots with one plant per pot. The plants of this study were of high quality. The high quality was achieved because of appropriately cool temperatures and good moisture control. No other special techniques were required other than fertilization. The lesson learned from these studies are high quality viola crops require appropriate density of planting, good fertilization, correct management of temperatures, and correct moisture management. Thank you for listening to this lesson. Funding for this project was provided by the United States Department of Agriculture.